So for this problem, we have a balanced chemical equation that's given to us, and it's iron plus oxygen. So iron plus oxygen gives us iron oxide. And so what I did was I rewrote the chemical equation um, so we had a visual of what's happening, and we could set up um, what we have, what's given to us, and then also what we need to find so we can kind of see where we want to go and have a little roadmap. And so here it is, um, iron plus oxygen is our, rea our reactants, uh, noted with an R here. And then iron oxide is produced, which is our product here with a P. And so what I did was I rewrote the balanced chemical equation. We have uh, iron as a solid. There's four moles of it by the mm. coefficient here, four. And then you have three moles of oxygen. And then you produce two moles of iron oxide. So these are the ratio of the reactants, the products, and how they would interact with each other in what quantities. And so they give us an amount of iron. So I'm going to read the problem here. It says, if 12 moles of iron are completely reacted, uh, 12 moles, particularly even, you know, it would be particularly red when I stick to the color code, how many moles of iron oxide will be produced? And so iron oxide, we don't know. So I put that in blue here, moles of iron oxide, we don't know. And how many moles of oxygen were consumed? So how much oxygen was required to react with that iron to make the iron oxide? And we don't know that either. So I put that in green down here, question mark. So we have what we know, 12 moles of iron. We don't know what oxygen amount will react with those 12 moles. And we don't know what the products will be in quantity. Um, and so we have two unknowns, we have our one known. And so what we can do is we can move from um, iron, and since we have it, and we can use stoichiometry to convert to oxygen. And then we can convert from iron to iron oxide. So because you have a balanced chemical equation, you can use the chemical equation to move from one reactant to a product or move from one reactant to another reactant um, because the chemical equation is there. We're going to use it as the tool here. And so I have down here at the bottom uh, 12 moles of iron, which is what we're given. And we want to we want to convert in stoichiometry to from 12 moles of iron to uh, moles of oxygen. How much oxygen do we need? So set that up. We have um, down here. Well, from the balanced chemical equation, there's four moles of iron. And for every four moles of iron, we need. What do we need? oxygen wise for every four moles of iron we need three moles of oxygen three moles of o2 three moles of o2 and i just took this right here right from i took this ratio sorry it's a little sloppy i took that ratio right from the balanced chemical equation. That's I just took it right from there because that's how it exists in real life. That's the reaction, um, and so this is going to equal. This is going to equal. Well, you can imagine twelve times three, thirty-six, divided by four is nine. So we're going to get nine. Thirty-six divided by four equals nine moles of oxygen. And remember, these cancel out, right? So your, your moles of iron on the bottom cancel with the moles of iron on top. You're left with moles of oxygen. Nice. All right, the next one here, we have moles of iron, which is what we're given. We want to get to the moles of iron oxide here in blue. Okay, so same thing. We're just going to convert. So we have, how much do we have? We have um, four moles of iron again, right? Because that's... Um, don't have that. I'm sorry. We that's the ratio from the balance equation. We have 12 moles of iron, but for every four moles of iron, you have again using the balanced chemical equation, you have two moles of iron oxide that will be made, right? So we plug that in now. Two moles of iron to three iron oxide. And that's going to give us 24 divided by 4. It's going to give us 6. So 24 divided by 6 equals 4 
sorry, 24 divided by 4 equals 6 moles of Fe203. Hopefully, uh, that makes sense. Use your bounce chemical equation, and then remember whatever's on top has to be on the bottom for the units to cancel, and you want to move to the, to whatever you need in the bounce chemical equation. Thank you.